Oh, what brings you here? Do you need attention again? <laughs> you really are hopeless, aren't you? You wanted to talk about something. You aren't here because you're lonely? Huh, that's a new one. Well, come in then. It's cold out. If you're going to tell me something, then you might as well make yourself at home. Here, sit on the bed with me. Who would have known that you'd come here at midnight and not ask for anything? Seriously, what happened to you? Oh. I think I know now. She accepted your feelings, didn't she? That's why you're here now. To tell me the news. Well... It's in our promise, so I guess our little pact has come to an end, hasn't it? You know, our wish. The pact where you and I offered ourselves to each other, being a substitute for the people we love, closing our eyes to avoid seeing the lies, to only think that the other person is someone else, that neither of us will fall in love with each other, that if one of us makes it with the person we really love, our relationship ends. In other words, everything but our feelings, a scum's wish. But the days passed, and eventually, you and I made a new promise. That if we both got rejected by the person we love, that we would officially start dating. It's horrible what love can do to you, right? Hey, tell me. Hopeful love. Painful love. Unrequited love. Are they really that beautiful? I don't think they are. Because effort is always rewarded in every endeavor but one. That's love. That's why I hate it. I was jealous of her. That she had you wrapped all around her finger. And because of that jealousy and what happened after it, I... I come to realize how... Hollow I really am on the inside. P please I understand, but before you leave me alone, can I just... I'm... I... I don't really know what to do right now. <laughs> It's like you have a place in my mind. I just can't forget about you. I feel so empty. This feeling never ended, didn't it? I confessed to him, but you know how things go. That really did not go well. Not like I was expecting anything. It's... It's just sad how little you mean to the person who means the whole world to you. My long-lasting unrequited love for him has finally ended. But I feel so empty. <laughs> I really kind of hoped that you would get rejected too. So we could, you know, the agreement we had. Remember? I, I I told you that I wanted to try loving you. That that the relationship we have isn't really nothing but a temporary fix to fill the voids in our heart. The more we go down this path, the more we hurt each other. And ourselves as well, right? But in the end, we really are nothing more but just a couple of parallel lines. Our relationship started not because of love, it started because we wanted to lie to ourselves. It all started with a lie. But, the memories aren't lies, right? All the smiles, the laughs we shared, those aren't lies. They're not regrets. Th those, are, those aren't just something you could cast aside. They're precious to me. I treasure them. They're precious to you also, right? <laughs> I'm glad you feel the same way about it. Now I could part ways, knowing that I left something that made you happy at least. And of course it goes the same for me. 
Then, I guess this is the moment where we say our... <laughs> huh? Why did you... why did you kiss me? Am I not understanding something? Huh? What do you mean she didn't really accept your feelings? What? Well, she isn't really the type to commit to just one person either. <sighs> and here I am thinking I was a fool. Thinking you would choose her. And you could have told me sooner rather than let me say all those sad things. <laughs> But do you really think our love could bloom from a lie into reality? Could we earnestly become people who love each other? Surely it isn't just me who's feeling like this. We both have our own doubts. On whether or not this would actually work. <laughs> oh. Of course. <laughs> I see. We have already escaped from our parallel lines and connected. The parallel lines of a love that could never exist. The chains that kept us bound to the idea that we're nothing more than mere substitutes. It's gone now. The feeling of loving someone who couldn't be yours. It's slowly fading. That goes for you too, right? After all, we are looking for real love. We know it can't be easily found, no matter how hard we pray. It may be something we will never have. We may get hurt even more next time. It could even make us feel more isolated, but we continue to seek it. I'd like to continue to seek this real love. After that long first love, I can finally move on. Now, with you in my arms. So let's make another pact. A promise to start anew. A promise to be earnest to one another and to be the best version of ourselves. I don't want to be apart. I don't want to let go. I don't want things to end. I want to accept you and adore you. I've always wanted to treasure you. I want to know everything about you. No more lies to each other. No more lying to ourselves. Let's go at our own pace. Find happiness in one another. After all, that's what love is, right? Or maybe it's something we just won't ever understand. <laughs> but it's worth a try, right? After all, what more could we lose at this point? The real love we've been searching for may just be the person right in front of us. And if we decide to be stubborn and keep rejecting the idea then will we ever find it? These feelings we hold for each other, will it be easy to forget? Will it ever go away at this point? If we turn away now, I worry that we might regret it for the rest of our lives. We're people who understand each other. We share the same pain, so why not share the same happiness? <laughs> well then, since you're already here, why don't you stay the night? It's pretty late now, so you could just sleep beside me. <laughs> Let's write our own story now. Just the two of us. No more illusions, no more lies. Our next chapter together will be a story without tragedy. Come here and hold me tighter. It's all right. Rest your head on my chest. It's fine if you want to cry now. I understand, after everything that's happened. Who wouldn't cry, right? I love you. I love the person who's here right now, not someone else. You're not an illusion anymore. And that goes the same for me. I know you want to say the same words, but for now, just cry your heart out. It's alright. I understand. I'm here. <laughs>